you know it's cool I've got a hind over here 120 meters I'm sitting next to a rub tree that's been reasonably freshly rubbed <sighs> if I was on a meat run I'd be shooting it I could head shoot it from here and it's probably shit like 150 200 meters from the car but my brother's just bought he just bought a new rig a desert tech it's currently set up in 308 but he's going to configure it for 338 lap and 308 he's going to be able to interchange between the two and yeah he wants to bring that out wednesday today is monday so i'll bring him out wednesday and i'll probably bring him back in this gully It was the wrong time for that fox to be loitering around down that gully while that stews 2, 2, 3 and thermal out the window. <laughs> yeah, I drove past and first I thought it was Wallaby and then I uh, had a quick with the bino because it was still light and yeah, seeing his bloody head and I was like, ah, oh, that's a fox. Bit of tip him over. <laughs> had enough time to get the camera out and video it and everything. Bloody sorted him out. So probably have a quick look for some more foxes now. Bit of a silly fox that one, eh, Ryan? Gonna guess a dog. Yep, dog fox. Kill. Yeah, Ryan. My dear dog's looking for quail again. <laughs> it's a bit quiet this morning. I've seen quite a few, but I just can't get close enough. I think the next mob I see them is going to have a long bomb because I've tried to get close to twice and spooked them both times. And now I've got Remy looking for quail. <laughs> Well, the deer hunt just turned into a fox hunt. <laughs> I was watching those fellow just in that mob there and I looked out to my left and seen this fox trotting through the paddock. <coughs> and he spooked. I don't know whether he caught me wind or he saw me or whatever, but anyway, he's run up and bloody laid down next to this tree, 160 meters. So the uh, seven mil rem mag just saw him out. He didn't look real happy, so. We'll go up there, I don't think it'll take Ram very long to find him. He shouldn't have gone very far with the 162 LDX, but he hitting pretty hard, but yeah, pretty good result. I mean, I was sort of after a deer and I'm guessing I'm not gonna get one now. They've all just pissed off after the gunshot, but. Get him. All right, well, Remy and I are doing something a bit different the Savo. So this morning we're out after deer up, ended up shooting a fox. The Savo, I'm ignoring the deer, and knowing my luck, I'll probably see a giant out here, but I'm taking the 22 out, and I've got the scope cam set up, so I put my phone on there, I'm going to go try and get some bunnies, so we'll see how we go, I'm going to get some bunnies for the dog meat, and yeah, I just want to try and get a different perspective, scope cam sent this device out to attach to your scope, and I think for rim fires, and maybe small center fires, it's something that's pretty cool, but yeah, I'll see how it goes, and yeah, let you know my thoughts. I knew I'd see a stag. <laughs> so, uh, it's not a massive stag, but I have seen a stag just up here. I've got the bow in the car. I think it's a, I think it's a stag I've seen walking through the paddock. I'll bet you I've got him on trail camera. Yeah, this is tough now. I've got the 22 on that just here. And I was just walking over to 
a little bit of a couple of warrens in this paddock and yeah I had a feeling I'd probably see deer but I mean he's not a giant he's probably like 22 inches or something but probably not a terrible spot to bow hunt I'll uh, decide in a minute and then he keeps walking so I might get a bit more footage and then uh, maybe I'll just race back and get the bow see what we can do but I don't like my chances and he's not he's not very big like I've shot bigger with the bow so it's just cool because it's you know this is a property I've been hunting for a long time and we don't get a heap of deer on here occasionally get an alright one but yeah, it's cool to see. I'm just enjoying watching him. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon and he's just walking through the paddock. I hope you guys seen a bit of that. <laughs> I had a real tight cord ring away, he sort of stopped for a second. Well, I think he did it. Whether he did, I don't know, but I sent an arrow on. Yes, yeah, just clipped a tree on the way through. I didn't even think I was going to get back on him. I've ended up in the next basin where I thought I was going to end up in. 
So I've got a very long walk back to the car. <laughs> uh. Damn. I was trying to walk around, there's this bloody bit of spiky bush there. I was trying to walk around that so it wasn't blocking me away. And by doing that, I just had this real tight window and clipped the tree. Anyway. Had a bit of a rest and start the trek back to the car. So I've just got back to the camera <clears throat> after blowing it on that stag. And I don't know whether he's like testing me or what, but I can see him with my naked eye up on the face right now with the hind. I've got an hour of light left. <laughs> so I'm debating, do I make a mad dash around and try and get above him? Man, I've already done so many Ks today. <laughs> I really don't know. Oh, he's just standing out in the open. The hard part is if he drops into the next system, I'm probably not going to get a shot, but I think I've got to do it, don't I? It's going to be an absolute mad dash. It's starting to rain. Fire out, I don't know. I'm wrecked. <laughs> I'll let you guys know what I end up doing. Well, I completely balls that up. So I'm just coming down to get this trail camera here. Oh man. I am proper buggered now, eh? I don't know how much the camera's picking up. I've just got back to the camera. I had a quick look at my phone on the way here. I've done 13 Ks today. I've got about a K back to the car. Whew, pretty buggered, but I just wanted to have a quick recap on what happened then. And I don't know whether the footage showed it up, but I'd put Remy in front that second time and I wish I'd done it the first time because she'd been wind sent me up there. And then I got her to come behind me while I crept around that rock to get a shot. And uh, I should have left Remy in front. Second time I left Remy in front, and I don't know whether you'll see on the footage, but I was making a fair bit of noise, and those deer were just standing there, eh? Like, they were just looking at Rem. So, yeah, second shot was 55 metres. Both shots went left, so I might check the bow in the morning, just at the farm, and see what it's doing. I don't know whether it's out or not, or whether I've just completely ballsed up, but it seems a bit odd. Both shots were a fair bit left, so I might have knocked or something, I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, pretty good fun anyway, and just goes to show. Even in that noisy cornflake country, get the wind right, have a good dog in front of you, and you can you can sneak in. All I did was have a tree in between me and the deer. There was four of them, I think. I think there was three hinds and a little stag there. And uh, I was after the stag, obviously, so I just kept the tree between me and him, and yeah, the hinds are looking at rem dogs, so. Anyway, I've uh, pulled the trail camera out, so I might cut to that trail camera footage now, and see what's kicking around on that trail camera. <laughs> 